lagi uh, Kali ni tajuk yang sama lagi Okay uh, The same chapter That is group 14 Okay this time is Part 3 Okay uh, Ingat lagi part 1, part 2 Okay kita dah masuk ke part 3 Part 2 we discuss about the Tetrachloride of group 14 Okay CCL4 SICL4 Apa lagi? GECL4, SNCL4, and PBCL4. Okay. Uh, ingat lagi, kenapa CCL4 not hydrolyzed? Hmm? Okay. Okay, in this part 3, we learn about the relative stabilities of the oxidation state. Okay, so the valence configuration of group 14 elements is NS2 and P2. Okay, group 14 ni semua dia punya elemen dia ada 4 valence electron. So, dia punya valence electronic configuration dia ialah NS2 and P2. N is the principal quantum number. It can be number 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Okay, so... Untuk group 14, dia boleh ada 2 oxidation state. Sama ada positive 2 ataupun positive 4. Okay. Before this, in video part 2, group 14 part 2, we have discussed about the tetrachloride of group 14. Okay. We have PBCl4 can decompose to PBCl2 which is more stable. Okay, uh, jadi dekat sini kita tahu kalau PBCl2 dia more stable than PBCl4. So in this part 3 kita nak tengok macam mana dia boleh membentuk positive 2 oxidation state or positive 4 oxidation state. Okay, to form oxidation state positive 2 where the 2p electrons are removed become ionic bond okay so here we have uh, s orbital and p orbital okay to form the positive two oxidation state so we release two electrons okay remove two electrons or we'll donate two electrons to form ionic bond Okay, untuk membentuk positive 4 oxidation state, okay, positive 4 where the two S and P electrons are used for bonding, okay, to form covalent bond, okay. Tadi, uh, positive 2, dia akan release, dia akan remove electron to form ionic bond, but in this positive 4 oxidation state, dia akan Use all the electrons to bonding. Okay, uh, they form covalent bond. Okay, we have SMP electron, S2 electron, P2 electrons. Okay, so macam mana dia nak gunakan semua elektron dia? Kita kena, yeah, okay, kita kena excited one electron from S orbital to P orbital. Okay. Jadi, dia ada four unpaired electron. Okay. Which after hybridization that can use to form four covalent bond. Okay. Uh, jadi, berbeza dengan positif 2 tadi, dia release electron to form ionic bond. Tapi yang ini, okay, electron in S orbital will be promoted, okay, to the P orbital, okay, so that leave 4 unpaired electron that can form 4 covalents bonds okay uh, covalent bond kan the sharing electron uh, so uh, ini ada 4 unpaired electron untuk sharing electrons okay when going down the group the strength of covalent bond form decreases 
due to the increase in the size of group 14 elements okay so when you're going down the group the strength of covalent bond decreases okay the atomic size increases okay atomic size when going down the group increases but the strength of covalent bond okay when going down the group decreases okay so going down the group there is an increasing tendency for the s2 pair not to be used in the bonding okay so bila size uh, atom semakin besar okay bila menuruni kumpulan size atom semakin besar jadi elektron tu semakin jauh okay menyebabkan kebarangkalian untuk Elektron di dalam S orbital tidak digunakan sangat tinggi. Jadi, bila kita tak gunakan S elektron, okay, elektron dalam S orbital, okay, kita hanya guna dalam P orbital, okay, then we remove the elektron itu akan membentuk ionic bond. Okay, itu yang dia kata kat sini, strength of covalent bond decrease. So, untuk carbon, dia prefer untuk covalent bond compared to lead. Okay, lead dia prefer untuk ionic bond. Okay, so bila nak membentuk ionic bond, dia akan membentuk positive 2 oxidation state. Okay, di mana 2 electrons in P orbital dia akan remove. So, this is often known as the inner pair effect. Okay, for example, to form a lead 2 ion, lead will lose the 2 6p electrons, but the 6s electrons will be left unchanged. An inert pair. Okay, uh, jadi inert pair effect. So, untuk lead, dia boleh ada inert pair effect, ok, disebabkan size dia yang semakin besar menyebabkan dia prefer untuk ionic bond membentuk positive to oxidation state ok, so this situation we call inert pair effect in addition, the energy liberator when two additional weak covalent bonds are formed is not sufficient to excite the S electrons. Okay. Uh, jadi, dia tak cukup tenaga untuk excite the S electron. That's why dia jadi inert pair. Okay. Uh, membentuk positive to oxidation, oxidation state ionic bond. Okay, the diagram shows the change in the relative stabilities of oxidation state. Okay, untuk positive to oxidation state, okay, bermula dengan carbon. Okay, the graph is going up, increase. Okay, for positive to oxidation state. But for positive 4 oxidation state, okay, it become decrease. Okay, jadi untuk lead, dia prefer untuk positive 2 oxidation state. But for carbon, dia prefer untuk positive 4 oxidation state. Okay, so uh, this uh, statement, okay, prove that... Uh, PBCl2 is more stable than PBCl4, okay, uh, because of the inert pair effect ni lah. Okay, since the positive 4 oxidation state is more stable for carbon, silicon and germanium, the positive 2 oxidation state of these elements are strong reducing agent. Okay, bila strong reducing agent, they undergo oxidation process. So, oxidation process, they akan release electron. Okay. So, this is because it easily oxidized to form the positive 4 oxidation state. 
For example, carbon monoxide is used in the extraction of iron from its ore. Okay, jadi untuk dapatkan ore of iron, okay, eh, sorry, untuk dapatkan pure iron, so kita gunakan carbon monoxide. Okay, so carbon monoxide will oxidize and reduce iron to oxide. For tin, the positive 4 oxidation state is slightly stable than the positive 2 oxidation state. Hence, tin 2 ions are weak reducing agent and can reduce iron 3 to iron 2, iodine to iodide, and manganese 7 to manganese 2. Okay. So here is the chemical equation. Okay, lead 4 oxide is a strong oxidizing agent and can oxidize concentrated hydrochloric acid to chlorine on heating. Okay, uh, compact lah. Uh, berbeza daripada elemen yang lain untuk lead for oxide, dia akan bertindak sebagai strong oxidizing agent. Okay, uh, so that's all for part 3. Okay, we already discussed about the relative stability of oxidation state. Okay, see you next time.